Okay, Architecture One students. Uh, I'm going to go over your next summative assignment, uh, summative exam, and that is for Monday. I believe the date is December 12th. And your test is going to be over dimensioning and how to dimension a floor plan. Okay, and I'm going to start here and just kind of point out that, of course, you have these horizontal dimension lines. Okay, that's these lines that stretch from one side to the other. And as you notice, there are three of them, three layers of lines. You've got one, two, and three. Each line has an assigned duty, I guess you would call it. And over here, I have these. All right, this uh, outer line is your overall measurement. So it measures this floor plan from here all the way over to here. And the dimension goes right here where I have measurement written. Okay, and look very closely and you can see my guidelines. My measurement is... 1 16th of an inch above that dimension line. Okay, so basically it's right in the center of that space, that vertical space. My guidelines, pay attention to those as well. Those are very light. You don't want to draw your guidelines dark because they'll get confused with the uh, dimension lines. Okay, so the actual measurements, the actual however many feet and inches go across the front of the house overall, that's the number that goes here, okay? Um, notice too, at the very ends, I have um, termination points, okay? So this line comes all the way to the outer wall in a termination point, which tells me that it's being measured to that point right there, okay? With a little 45 degree slash through it, that is, the point that I'm measuring to and I'm measuring from over here okay 45 degree termination points all right the next line in the middle line here is for major walls a major wall is any wall that comes in contact with the outside wall when we measure those we measure to the center of those walls so the measuring starts here and it's to the end of the outside wall but when it come in here and we get to the um, major wall, it measures to the center of that major wall. Okay, and then I just continue going down and, and marking to the center of each major wall. Okay, and notice that I have additional extension lines. Okay, now over here, these are the extension lines for the very ends of the house. These extension lines extend from approximately one eighth of an inch gap between the house and where the line starts. It extends up here to that middle line. Okay, so that is an extension line. Extension line here, and another extension line here. And on there, again, we have measurements. So here we're measuring from the outer edge of the house, the wall, to the middle of this first wall, and we have that specific measurement from here to here. Next, we have another specific measurement from here to here. Now, make special note, it's not a total distance from here to here. These are all separate measurements. From here to here would be this measurement number, however many feet, however many inches. And then here would be another measurement number from here to here, however many feet, however many inches. Okay, and continuing on from the next major wall to the next major wall, we have another measurement we need right here. And then from the, from the last major wall to the end wall, we need another measurement there. Okay, going uh, back over here, the next line, the one that's closest to the house, is doors and windows. Okay, now I have three lines here. Um, if you haven't noticed already, especially because the, uh, the text between the lines is one eighth of an inch, you've probably guessed that these dimension lines are one quarter of an inch apart. One quarter of an inch from the house to this one. One quarter of an inch from this one to the next one. One quarter of an inch from this one to the next one. 
okay and uh, so this last one is the doors and windows okay and it measures it's the same deal uh, we start at the very end and we measure to the center of the first win window okay to the center and there is a specific measurement from here to here and that figure goes right here then we measure from the center of that window to the center of the next object whether it be a door or a window Okay. In this case, it happens to be a door. So it actually measures to right here. I kind of made a correction here because I, I wrote measurement a little bit too close over here. What wasn't really focused on what I was doing. Uh, but that word measurement should be kind of in the center right here because it is a measurement between here and here. It is a specific measurement. Okay. Then the next measurement is going to be between here and here. Okay, and then that's going to be this figure right here. Okay, it's going to say however many feet, however many inches. And then the last one from the center of this window to the end of the wall, again, another figure right there. Okay, and notice I have extension lines. I got extension lines at the end. I got extension lines from my major walls to the, to the middle major wall line. Okay. And I've also got very small extension lines from the middle of the windows, middle of the door, and the middle of this window up to the doors and windows line. Okay. Okay, now when you uh, test, you do not write these words that I have here. These are instructions for you, telling you what these are and how you're supposed to draw them. All you should have are these dimension lines, the extension lines, the termination points, okay, and then the measurements all through. It needs to be very neat and measured accurately, okay, very accurately. Uh, of course, there will be a, a small tolerance uh, to that, but uh, they need to be measured as accurately as possible. And you'll get a drawing. It won't be just like this one. It'll be very similar. It won't be just like it. Okay? Good luck.